In this class, we are going to learn how to create an integration to expose our REST over HTTPS protocol over multiple HTTP verbs or the methods like GET, POST and so on and so forth. We are going to build this use case step by step that is from scratch by creating an integration in our Oracle integration instance. I have already logged into my Oracle integration instance. So the first step is we need to create an integration. I am clicking on this create button over here on the right top corner. In order to expose our integration or rest over HTTPS protocol, we need to go for this app driven orchestration integration style. I am selecting this and clicking on select button. You need to provide the name, identifier, keyword and other details. I will quickly fill up the details. I have provided the name that is rest multiple operation inst. You can provide the name as per your convenience. Identifier got auto populated version. I am not modifying anything. Package, if you want to assign this integration to a particular package in your instance, you can do that. Keyword, if any, you can attach and the documentation URL, if you are maintaining the documentation for any integration separately, like a MS Word online or some other stuff, you can provide the URL over here. And the description, in short, you can provide. I am keeping this default and clicking on this create button. The integration canvas has loaded for us. Let me change the layout for this to horizontal as I am comfortable working in horizontal layout. It's your personal choice and preference how you want to work. Now the first thing over here to add in trigger is our REST connection. We have not created a REST connection yet. Let me create a connection. In order to create a connection, we need to traverse to this connections options from the menu under integrations and click on this create button. From here, we need to search for the REST. Select this REST connection or the adapter and click on select. Provide the name. I have populated the name for the connection that is REST trigger connection. You can provide the name as per your preference. From the role selection, we need to select the trigger as we want to use this connection only in case of trigger. Once you populate all the details, click on this create button. It's 100% success. Click on save and back. As you can see, now the connection is in configured state. Let me switch over to integrations tab. Next is we need to click on this plus icon over here and search for our trigger connection. So most of the time it will be at the top from the options available in the list. So this is the connection which we created, rest trigger con. I am selecting this. Let me name this as trigger. Once you provide the endpoint name, there is an option to select to configure multiple resources or verbs. This we will look at later. First, we will create a connection to expose our get endpoint. So, what this operation will do? This will get greeting message. Next is, I am just putting the test get greeting. This will be the R relative URI. From the options, as of now, it's supporting get, put, post, delete and patch. I'm selecting get over here. I'm checking configure this endpoint to receive the response. So this integration will basically get the name of a person in the request and it will send the greetings back. So this is the use case which I'm considering for this demonstration. And also I'm going to check this add and review parameters for this endpoint. Click on next. If you want, you can add template parameters as well, but I'm going for this query parameter. Click on plus. Here I'm providing the name. Data type will be string. We will pass name of the person in the query parameter. And in the response, we'll get the greetings back. Click on next. Here in the response schema, I'm selecting JSON. Select this JSON and click on this inline. I have already created the response, sample response, copy this from here and provide. This is just having a greetings element with the value. Click on OK. Click on Next. Click on Done. Now we need to click on this Edit Mapper. Click on Edit. I will enable this Developer and XSLT mode. Now we need to construct the greeting message. Let me create a node for this. Let me use the concat function over here. I will type the message hello. So we will provide the name. 
from the query parameter. Let me paste this over here. So this will be like hello name. Suppose if we are passing BNUM learning, it will type hello space BNUM learning. There is a space over here, then three exclamation marks. Then after that, we will put a space over here again. Then we will write a message. Have a nice day. Then validate. Validate this mapper. And close. Save the integration. We have completed exposing our integration or get HTTP method. Now we will add post as well. In order to modify, click on this edit. Just go back, back, back and to basic info. If you see it over here, there is an option to select to configure multiple resources or verbs. We need to check mark this. As of now, you can create only up to maximum of 11 resources or the verbs. So we need to check mark this. Click on next. So this will first of all show what we have already created. We can select that option at the beginning itself when we create the trigger connection. So at the end, it will ask under operations add another operation. We need to select this and we need to click on next. So this will open up resource configuration for a new resource or the verb. It will ask what this the operation do. So we will name this as post greeting message. Fine. Now instead of this endpoint test get greeting, let me name this as test post greeting. Done. So in the drop down, we need to select this post as the HTTP verb or the endpoint. So in case of post, we need to send the request in the body wherein we will pass the name of the person and in the response, we will get the response back like the greeting message what we had created for get. Once done, click on next. It is not allowing us to have this white spaces. Let me remove the white spaces and click on next. Next, it will ask for the schema. I am selecting JSON as it is very easy. We can type it over here. If you want, you can provide the XML schema as well. I have already created the sample JSON schema over here or the sample JSON message. Click on OK. Click on Next. Request is done and in the response as well, it will ask for the sample payload. I am providing the sample JSON. Let me copy this from here. Copy and paste. Click on OK. Done. Click on Next. Under operations, it will list all the verbs or the resources what we created while exposing in this trigger connection. So currently there are two resources with the relative URI that is slash test get greeting and slash test post greeting. One is of get, another is of post. You can create multiple get HTTP methods as well, but you have to have unique resources. So you can just select this and delete the resources what you have created by selecting this and clicking on this direct operation. If you want to know more details, just select and you will get this option operation summary. It will list the details. So once done, click on next and done. It will ask to update the configuration. Click on update. So let me reset the integration. It has wiped off our mapping which we had created previously. So let me remap. Let me edit this. Let me create the target node for greeting. It is basically the same step. What we have done previously, I am repeating. So this will be applicable only in case if your mapping is gone or wiped off. So it will not be the case for you, but it has wiped off for me. For that purpose, I am re-entering the details. Have a nice day. So let me copy everything from here. Click on validate. Click on validate the mapper. Close. So next is we need to create mapping for this post greeting message. Click on this edit mapper. Let me enable developer and XSLT modes. Done. Let me create the greeting node over here. 
what we had copied from our previous mapper i'm pasting it over here control v control v is applicable only for windows operating systems let me delete this map and drag and drop this name from the request click on validate click on validate the mapper and close the mapping in actual business use case you will be having a complex logic you need to build so that you have to expose your integration or multiple verbs or the resources so this is just a simple wherein we are just getting the greetings now if you click on this there are two errors this is because of the tracking variables so let us just solve this click on this more actions over here and click on this tracking under tracking we have two resources that is post greeting message and default let me click on this default so default is nothing but it is for get greeting message which we created at the beginning so here whatever is under query that is name i am mapping it over here click on save so next thing we need to add is for post greeting message under more actions under tracking we need to select this post greeting message so here in the request wrapper or in the body of the message we are having this name just toggle it in the tracking field click on save now if you see that both the errors are gone click on save exit the integration so now we need to activate this integration let me activate this enable tracking include payload click on activate our integration got activated now let's test by clicking on this run icon over here and click on test in the testing window there is a operation tab enabled over here if you click on this loe option you will have two options one is for default another is for post greeting message so this default you can avoid this default if you are very sure before creating the integration that you are creating an integration to expose over multiple verbs or the resources in our case we just created our integration with the trigger wizard without selecting that multiple resources verb so it's reflecting as default this we cannot change we should be very careful while we expose our integration so first we'll test for this get select this get if you see under request uri parameters here we need to populate our query parameter i am giving bnum learning and click on test we got the message wherein we got the greeting back saying hello bnum learning have a nice day so this was for the get wherein we sent the name in the query parameter next is post i am selecting post from the operation switch over to the body here oracle integration instance has populated a sample json what we had provided in the trigger connection wizard in the response it's empty right now i'm clicking on test over here let me scroll down yeah we got the response back saying hello binam learning have a nice day so like this we can create an integration to expose our multiple verbs or multiple resources or the multiple related uris like over here very efficiently and very quickly so if you want to you can track the instances we had added the tracking fields whatever we have mapped it will reflect in the primary business identifier 